Hello and welcome. I am Thilo. In this video, we want to talk about uh, similarities of uh, techniques. What they want to tell us that there's that these are different techniques with the sword, with the lance, without any weapons on foot and on horseback. Um, that seems to be a little bit interesting for me. So we will see if you like that too. At first, I want to show you the five basic uh, guards or Huten with the sword. This is the first one and it has a reason why it is called the first hoot, first guard, erste hoot, because it's very flexible, you can do many things. So it's resting on the left hand, the point is downwards on your left side. First, second, second hoot, the third hoot, fourth is resting on the saddle, on the bow, on the front bow of the saddle with the point to uh, the enemy. And uh, the fifth is half sorting. These are the five basic uh, guards or hoots uh, descripted by Lichtenauer, Huta, Maya, etc. So that's it. And now we uh, want to show you some or one basic technique starting from the first hoot with the sword. And you can do that, these movement, um, these move. Uh, with any kind of weapon, without weapon, if you are on horseback or if you are on foot. It's the same. The basic technique, what I want to talk about today, is uh, this one. That's very simple. It's from here to this position. And which angle and uh, which way, if you, can, if you do that with a sword or with a spear or a dagger, or an axe or with the shield on the left side. The left side would be um, with the shield this or on foot this. This ending position is uh, in modern sports fencing called a terz. Terz or terz. Terz. I know that as terz. And it covers from the head to the hip on the right, right side from the first guard to here or to there and what happens if you do that we can show you as well and with the left side it is uh, this this way if you want if you want to hit to the head from the first hoot first guard there is a trick you can accelerate your sword with your left hand if you use that as a to push this way so it's quite short and quite easy in uh, this kind of uh, hit so you start the hit with your left hand and push the blade forward to hit and you can do that as well in an angle so that's quite helpful uh, so you, that you don't have to do this um, where you open up very much. You're still protected if you keep your right hand low and push with the left hand the blade forward to hit the opponent to the head. Yeah, quite simple. So don't do this. You're open. Do this. Throw your, your point, the, the uh, weak of your sword forward to your opponent. It's very quick and uh, hard. The first thing what we want to show you is uh, how to uh, parry with these movement a hit to the head. So we try to keep that on camera. So that you can try to hit the head or or do a thrust to the face. And if you imagine this is in, a, in motion, don't fight uh, on horseback if you don't move. So then you can hit the head or thrust to the face. And uh, for the basic of the technique, it makes no difference if you hit 
if you hit the head or the thrust to the face or if you had hit the, the forearm or the arm. Langsam. Nee, wo willst du hin? Keine Ahnung. Ja, das ich auch. Wo willst du hin? Ja. Sometimes you should try that. Don't do a technique so that your partner is able to hit you to the head and so that you can prove if your partner is hitting to your head or not. So she knows what kind of technique I will do. So we will do against it. That's very normal, that's human. That we, we all do that. So it's a trick um, to test if your opponent is hitting towards your head. Don't do something, sometimes. It's important, it's not, it's not really bad. To hit to the hand or the forearm, it makes no difference. Yeah. Here, with this step to the face, or to the head, or to the arm. And it's difficult if your partner do the hit right, with keeping its hand low. If she does it uh, in a huge movement, mach mal groß. It's quite simple to hit the head, uh, the hand. So stay here if you're hitting that. Now we can do, try to do that from the other hood, from the fifth, from half sorting, sorting, half sorting. <laughs> um, and they sell that uh, as a different technique, but it's not. Some copita. And then, so from half sword, it's written down in a, from half sword, it's written down uh, in the Lichtenauer treatises and uh, Huta, Maya, etc. Um, from here, it's exactly the same movement. Here, you just have to add the left hand. Don't hit my fingers. Maxima. <laughs> so it's really important that she aims my head. If she hits away, I will get a hit on my hand. But it's not the, the uh, plan first, she should hit my head. And if we keep on going here, there comes the thrust to the face or a wrestling technique or whatever. Oh, wrestling technique. There is a very uh, funny thing, uh, a wrestling technique what needs the start here. If you start, the parry either with the left hand here, then this could happen. Langsam. And then I have here, uh, can I do a wrestling technique? Here. And if, if I ride forward, she will fall off uh, the horse. I will not do that. Here. And I do here a leverage and then she falls off. Or it is a, a disarming technique. And either it's the same here and then I grab the forearm or the hand with turned hand, it's written. So exactly the same techniques, the same beginning of the technique that we have to think about. And uh, how it ends, it's uh, various and you can have various endings. Um, so what we have done is a very simple technique with a hit or a thrust. We can do that adding a wrestling technique. We can do that the same technique with half sorting. Um, it's always on my right side if I do that with the right hand. If I want to do that with my left hand or I have to do that with my left hand, it's mostly, mostly uh, that your opponent comes from the left side. So it's either written down, you shall do any technique, you shall be able to do that with both hands, with the left hand, with the right hand. Um, next thing uh, what we can show you is uh, the same technique again with a lance. Okay, in one of my last videos two years ago, I showed you uh, spear and lance techniques, Lichtenauer, etc., uh, from the third guard, third hood, from 
this position, if your opponent comes with the uh, thrust, with a lung odd uh, towards your face. And what you do, it's exactly the same from this guard. It's this movement. It's again the same movement, this movement, or better with a point to the face. So maybe you remember that or you check out this uh, video, uh, Mounted Martial Arts. Lance and spear techniques after Lichtenauer, etc. Um, from this, in the Hutter uh, description, you find a picture where the third hood is looking like this, and that's exactly like the, like the first hood uh, with uh, the sword. And then you can do exactly that. So it's just a short. It's this, and then it happens by its own if you ride forward. That's the, the basic technique. Boom. Um, and we have a, and we have a, another technique with a short lance against a, a long one. Mach mal ruhig länger. Where uh, the uh, Lichtenauer describes to use your left hand and parry it to your left. And it's still the same movement, exactly the same. I, the thrust comes to my face and I use my left hand, open up my enemy and hit him, her, with a thrust to the face, to the chest or another opening in the armor. Very simple and again the same technique. And I can do that as well with the shield if it is center gripped or on, strapped on the arm. It's exactly the same. So it's these movement from here to there, from here to there. Or if it is uh, strapped on your forearm, like uh, medieval knights, from here to there and step to the face. So it's exactly the same uh, basic move. Don't let sell you the basic technique, the same basic technique as different super special techniques. It's still the same. Um, and the same technique is descriptive either with Lichtenauer and all the others against the lance from the first hood with the sword. It's boop, this one step to the face. If the lance is longer, you can uh, do tricks, important tricks, but it's still the same basic technique. What we uh, described uh, with the short sticks in the video, uh, basic training tools and tips. So we had uh, this technique descriptive still with short sticks. Here, basic, and then we start the trick. You hinder your opponent uh, to do a counter technique if you bring the lance below your arm. Um, and we either can do that <coughs> without any weapon. So you see, that's all the basic, all one technique from down left to up right. On your right side, if you do that with the right hand and sometimes on your left side, if you do that with the left hand. What you add then uh, for a following technique, it's something different. But the start is always the same. <laughs> the start is always the same. One technique from down left to up right, or other techniques works differently offshore. But you have just a few basic uh, techniques what you can uh, uh, translate with the weapons, with different weapons, without weapons. You can translate that on foot. I'm, I'm sure you know. Uh, uh, techniques which name with names uh, from uh, Maya 
and uh, one uh, 33 and so on it looks the same or with the uh, technique with the mesa and uh, sword and buckler it's all the same I know I don't make friends with that <laughs> but uh, I'm convinced that it's, the basics are the same and then you can change and add some uh, different things we will show that uh, on foot as well um, the main difference the main difference between mounted combat and uh, ground combat uh, or on foot is uh, that you never have uh, your opponent direct in front of you. It's always on your right or on your left side, your opponent. And if you add that to ground combat, to fight on, fighting on foot, um, I'm sure you know that as well. Footwork is uh, one of the most important things on uh, uh, in HEMA or in, in combat as in any kind of uh, martial arts um, we might can show that so we are not perfect uh, on fighting on foot we are perfect in nothing than uh, using oxygen um, she will hit to my head and I will try to translate the technique uh, on uh, fighting on foot It's just I go to this where I usually are with my horse on her uh, right side, on, she's on my right side and um, just doing the same or with a thrust here or throat or whatever. If I do that half sorting, the same with a different end. I can do that with the spear, it's the same. If I thrust or hit to the head. So, the same technique here. Um, here, with a shield, it would be... Here, on the left side, with the left hand. I go this way and either the same technique. There. You know. Yeah? So with a with a dagger kind here or here. It don't matter. It don't matter if you hit the forearm or if you can manage to hit the, the head or if you can do something like this. Can you see that? here and then do something else it's ballet you know um, or without here footwork I don't know <laughs> then you can do if you if you remember these uh, twisting the lance uh, below my arm whoop it's the same it's a finish with playing something. So what I want to tell you or what we want to tell you is you have one basic technique and uh, it splits out in many different endings. So it's just playing around. And if she punch with, with a fist to my face, it's the same here. Whatever you, you whatever. However, it ends, but the start is the same. With the left hand, whatever you play then, but the basic ground technique, the basic techniques is still the same. It's moving from here to there, left side from here to there, over a diagonal line outwards uh, from your center. That's it. And I'm sure you know many techniques which are very similar. The basic ground technique. I don't want to say that there are just five techniques also. But um, the basics, how you start a fight, will be very similar. You don't know what your opponent is doing. So that's why you just have to decide what you have to do. And uh, as long as it comes straight to your face or from the right in the right angle, 
from the right side. I will not, I can't do this technique if she hits from uh, to my left side. I have to do something else and that we will explain in the next videos. So thank you for watching our video <laughs> and then uh, tschüssi. tschüssi. If you like that subscribe or hit the uh, like button. Okay, bye. <laughs> We have fun because of the horse there. We don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. Um, A lazy horse.